Do you guys remember this combo? You know, the one at the start of my zero to death video? It looks straightforward and pretty simple. Until you take it to training mode and realize that it's absolutely not. You seem to do all the inputs exactly as I showed them, but it just doesn't work. I know a lot of you have tried it, and I can tell by the enormous amount of comments on this video. Let me save you some time. This combo is nearly impossible and is completely impractical in normal gameplay. From the start, the combo requires incredibly precise spacing. Even during the initial setup, you need to be a specific distance away from your opponent. When you first short hop, spacing is important because you need to be far enough away from Ike as to not cross up, but you also need to be far enough forward for the rest of the combo to hit. The second short hop also shares this precise spacing, and if you have done everything perfectly, only then will the down tilt at the end hit. So why did I even make this video? Well, the intent was to give you bits and pieces of combos you could use in an actual match, because unlike some of the full combos, these are very practical. So do me a favor and open up training mode, turn on stale moves, disable the extra Yoshis, and let's get some actual practice. Let's look at the first combo on Fox, specifically this section right here. Around 20% you can combo a ground float Nair into a double turn up throw. This leads into a down tilt with the turn up and you can further combo from here. Ground float Nair is a frame 6 option you can use as a punish in neutral. This is very useful because when you're holding a turn up you should always know what it can lead to. You can also take this setup and just get rid of the Nair to start it. You can use a short hop turn up throw as a burst option. It is fairly easy to hit so you should know the potential rewards. Not only do the two turn up throws do about 25%, they also can lead into a variety of free flowing combos that can even result in kills. Also, look at the end of this fox combo. A turn up thrown upwards at an opponent in the air can knock the opponent into a kill move. This combo also has a key conversion. Using the fixed distance of Peach's initial dash, you can combo off of a grounded turn up throw. This can be done at later percents to land a down tilt which combos further. This is especially useful as a dash forward turn up throw can be a better burst option than dash attack. This Ike combo is actually practical, it is probably the one you are used to seeing in clips. Everything after the initial setup can be used separately though. If the opponent is in the air, a turn up thrown forward at point blank range combos into Nair. The Nair recatches the turn up so you can combo the opponent further. For instance, it can lead into these double turn up throw edge guarding sequences. These are useful by themselves, as the turn up adds damage, allowing for the fair or side beat to kill. Triple and quadruple turn up throws off stage are also possible. I will leave a link to that tutorial down below. This inkling combo contains one of the most useful conversions you can do with Peach. If you catch your opponent in the air, you can short hop turn up throw. This can combo into an up air, allowing you to recatch the turn up. This combo is awesome because an anti-air at mid percent can end up killing your opponent off the top. It is easy and flexible. You can even pull it off online. This combo can also be done without the initial turn up throw. It is less risky not to throw the turn up at first, but it may not kill as early without it. Alright, now that I've walked you through how to apply these combos, you can save time by just practicing these individual parts and really take the time to use them in actual matches. Thank you so much for watching, and I wish you the best of luck as we return to the offline format.